Hey, this is Rusty Burdens, the Forest Park High School Football Show. And we got a special episode for you today. I'm bringing to you three of Forest Park's senior star football players. You've seen uh, some of them on the show before. We, we already had Nathaniel Wright. Welcome to the show, Nathaniel. Thank you for having me. Yep. Well, we had Landon on interview after a game, but we also had his parents on. Welcome to the show, Landon. Appreciate you for having me, Rusty. And then our first time, Brandon, I think he interviewed you for basketball, right? Yes. I got you and your coach at the end of a game, yeah, a playoff game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, um, but now this is football, so it's your first time right there. So, Brandon, thank you for joining the show. Thank you for having me, Rusty. Yep, yep. So this is Brand Brandon Adobe, uh, Landon Hunt, and Daniel Wright. They are three seniors, class of 2025 at Forest Park. They've been a part of this football program for the past, at least the past three years. Uh, and Nathaniel's been a part of this program for five years. He's the old vet. Um, he failed the 11th grade and had to do it twice. So uh, that's why he, no, I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> and Nathaniel started the program in the eighth grade. But no, so you you, were, you all are some of the leaders of the team. And I'm blessed to have you on the on this particular episode i know they read about you and they hear different things but we want to want to have some fun and let people know a little bit more about you so let's start with this season your senior year um the fall 2024 season um how is the season going you know how, how in general how do you feel about how you're playing what what are things you're what are things you're doing well or things you'd like to as an individual maybe do a little better? And we can start with you, Landon, because you are having a big season, bro. I've, I've I think you 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 had a, a four touchdown game. You've had big big amounts of yards in some games. But how do you feel about the season? You know, I think as a team we definitely grown in chemistry. So just playing behind the guys and everybody together, it's been really fun and um. The season's been rolling. We've been rolling. The season's been really fun for me. You know, it's probably everything you want out of the senior year. So I'd say that it's, it's been pretty successful. Pretty successful. Yeah, great. And you know, I don't. We don't know how the the end you'll end up in terms of all this growth. But you 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 were an all region player last year, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yes, you know yeah. we're we're looking for you guys to continue. You all are making a big impact, and and I'm glad to hear. And I know I've seen like I've been in the stands. I'm like, yo, man, is getting his getting his man out there. So good stuff. Uh, to, to you, Brandon, this is our first time hearing from you from a football perspective. Um, how's the season going for you? Um, the season's going pretty well. You know, it's been going by pretty fast. Um, but the season's going pretty well. I've made new friends, and. So I've been working hard on it. It's really been paying off. Yeah. And we'll get into you more as an individual um, and, and your story about how you got into playing football and, and, and some of your future plans. But I'm glad. And, I, and look, I've seen you grow. Like, this is your senior year. And yeah. it's only your third year playing organized football, for those that don't know. But I have seen the improvements. Like, you're not just out there being a big guy. Like, your footwork and, and your, your some of the instincts – um, as a football player, look to be to really be improving and getting better. And then my man, Nathaniel Wright. Nathaniel, uh, you know, I coached you since, I guess, your first tackle football team, APYFL. We won a championship. And you were the kid I was telling. I was like, yo, y'all, this dude, you know, and you were younger because you were a big guy, so you had to play up. But I was like, Look, there's some athleticism. He's not just big. Look at his footwork, y'all. Look at like he's going he's going to be the one. I'm telling y'all. And we had a good team like we went undefeated. Then I had you 2 years later at Benton where we won a championship and I was wearing my sweatshirt today and you were a 6th grader and very few 6th graders made that particular Benton team because it was so talented. But you were up there and uh and now you're a senior in high school. Uh Nathaniel, tell us how how's the season going for you? Uh, I would say like the season been going great. Um, I really like. I would say this is probably my best season of like friendship wise, cause and enjoyment wise, I made like a lot of friends and close friends and lifetime friends with this team. So it's been great. That's good. That's what I like. It cause look, guys, I, it's been a minute since I played high school football, right? But it's like. The good times we had, or the or the bad times we had, and how we might have, how we recovered from it, or just some of the fun things we did, and like we can joke about it now, 
as 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 you get older and you look back, you'll really again the records won't matter, but you'll look back with fondness, man. And it's not even these guys that are your teammates, but it's going to even be the guys you play against. So it may be somebody that you played youth football with on their team, but then you're playing against them in high school, and you guys will look back and you'll enjoy those things. So tell me, guys, in your own in your own words, um, over these last three, like Nathaniel's five years, what are some of the things you're going to cherish about your time in a Forest Park football uniform? Start with you, uh, Nathaniel. Uh, like I said, um, I'm going to miss my friends a lot. You know, we got really close. Like, I know Landon, my, my first best friend. I'm really going to miss my friends and just, like, being around them every day, seeing them every day will be different for me. Yeah, yeah. All right, what about you, Brandon? Um, I would definitely say, like, like what Nathaniel said, friendship. You know, the friends that I made over football was really special to me. And we really build a bond. Like I know Landon, like two years ago, I know Nate since like fifth or fourth grade. So the, the the bond that I built with them was really special for me. And it was over football, so. Yeah. Okay. okay. And Landon. You know, I'm going to have to piggyback off of them again. Uh, so that Kind of like what Nate said, you know, just the friends that we made along the way. Um, I mean, I've known Nate since I was like a few months old. He was the first friend I ever made. And then like. I met a lot of new people like Brandon. I met uh, my sophomore year when I came here and then just a lot of the other people that we've gotten like really close with over the years. It's just, mm-hmm. it's, it's been crazy how like the friendship has just grown and everything. Everybody's gotten close. Chemistry is just, it's, it's, it's really good. So I'm going to miss oh, that good. probably the most. Good. Yeah, no, I, and that's natural. That's natural. So I would say no matter how many games you have left, enjoy it. Like it, like, and I will tell you, one of you all said it, but, this season is flying by. Like, I, it feels like, like from the last day of school for, for you know, you got in June and you have your summer and you might be lifting or doing seven on seven until you, you know, you start your official practices and then you, you're like, okay, when do we get helmets on and then when do we get pads and when do we have a scrimmage? And it feels like that takes so long until that first game. And this is for the last 20 years, and I, whether I'm just going to games or covering, I'm like, what just happened? Like, it's almost the playoffs, so it's the season's almost over. And so just appreciate this time, guys. I'm, you know, however many weeks you have left, enjoy it, work hard, um, and give it everything you've got. I've been really impressed with what I've seen from you all on the field. What are some of the things that you all um, – for, for this year, so so when this season's over, whether you're a state champion or, or just whatever, what what are the things you're looking to do for the rest of this school year? Brandon, I'll start with you. Are you going to play basketball? Yeah, I'm playing basketball in the winter. But mainly my thing I'm looking forward to, like, I done football, just getting good grades, um, so enjoying my senior year, you know, going to prom, going to all the events, and it's really just cherishing the moment. That's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, and so for those that don't know, Brandon, you were an all-state basketball player. Uh, yes, sir. The year you you helped lead as a sophomore, right? Yes, sir. Uh, lead sophomore. Forest Park to like one of their f- deepest runs into the state tournament. Um, and so, uh, you know, as an all-state basketball player, um, I, that's one of the things I know that that that. Coach Wright, Nathaniel's uh, father, Darren, and I, you know, and 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 watching athletes, we were watching your freshman year of high school basketball and i'm going wait a minute that 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 kid he's got the footwork the athleticism and that that can translate to football um and and then when i actually saw you a year later like your game grew now you were already good but your game grew from ninth to tenth grade i was like oh yo like he's taking those steps um and and again, you did help lead that team to, to to the most successful season in Forest Park history. So I'm glad to hear you're playing basketball. Um, you got the, you guys are all great football players, but you're also great athletes in other sports. So I'll go with you, Nathaniel, because I know you've played basketball. You played JV as a ninth grader, um, and but you played AAU growing up and played <clears throat> at extreme high level. Um, what is your the rest of your school year going to look like? Are you going to and are you going to continue to to maybe throw throw do throws with track? Or are you going to play basketball? What are we looking at? 
Uh, I'm gonna try to prepare myself for college. So like really harp on getting good grades. Um, train for college really hard this year, and like like but like what Brandon said, go to all the prom stuff and join my senior year. It's my like senior year should be a good experience for everybody. Cool, cool. Well, Landon, how about you? Again, I those again may not. I also coach Landon. Um, he ran track in the youth program that I helped um, run for a number of years. He was out there. Uh, I remember talking to your parents then and gotten to getting to know you all. Um, but so I know you've run track in the past. What other sports did you play growing up? And then um, what are other things are you looking forward to doing this year, your senior year? Thanks. So. Other sports that I played growing up, I think I played about like everything. I played a little bit of baseball. I played some soccer. I played basketball and obviously football. Um, I gave up on football and soccer a little bit early when I was a little bit young, but mm -hmm. I, I stuck with basketball for a while. I was playing AAU. Uh, I probably stopped during around quarantine ish, but I was playing basketball for a while. So basketball was also something that I, it was another one of my loves, you know, other than football. So I really love basketball. But off season wise, I think just training, getting ready for the next level, and then, you know, just enjoying the senior year with the guys. You know, you only get it once, so you gotta make the most of it. So just making a lot of memories, training, just doing what I can and then staying in the classroom, obviously. But that shouldn't be a problem for me. Okay. Good stuff. Brian, I did want to ask, so we know you played basketball, but what other sports did you play maybe growing up? Um, Growing up, I started off playing soccer. Yeah, that, that was my main sport. My my parents, they love soccer, and they, they enrolled me at a very young age. So I started off playing soccer. Then a little bit later, I started playing basketball, playing some AAU travel. Then that's my sophomore year, started playing football. Coach Robinette really wanted me to play for him, so I made that happen. Okay. Now, when you played basketball, were you always the big kid? Were you a big man always, or did you ever? Did we ever small and then had a growth? Did have a growth spurt? But were you always had to, you know get me back to the basket? Yeah, I was always a taller kid, so I was always primarily the center, the the big kid. I would just get rebounds and put it up in the, in the paint, and I would just do post little post moves. But I was primarily the, always a big kid. Okay. And how tall are you now? Uh, I'm six five now. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, and and so hmm. now the thing you you've been on the show before. We kind of when you when you submitted, so we know a little bit about. But what other sports did you play? I know you played basketball. You you play a little soccer. Yeah, I played soccer. My first sport was a uh, swimming. Though I was pretty good at it. Oh, um, wow. I did. Uh, I would say my best stroke was probably best breast stroke. I was pretty good at that. I didn't lose a. I didn't lose a. Um, a meet in breaststroke, so that's like one thing I can like keep over me for like my years. So. Wow, that's good stuff. Yeah, I tell you, when well, my kids, my three kids, I, I didn't play soccer growing up. Growing up in Hampton, like I just all I remember was everybody played basketball, football, or baseball, and there was soccer out there. But man, one of the things I did learn getting older when my brother played at Virginia Tech is that some of the guys that had played soccer had that as a foundation. It really helped with their athleticism, you know. And I didn't realize this until like I was even in like the ninth grade. And I remember one the first time I ever did anything with soccer. We were in PE class. Teacher rolled a soccer ball out there and was like, "All right, boom!" And so I'm playing soccer. And at that time, I was I was I was playing I played basketball, football, ran track, and I was in great shape. Bro, I was dying out there because you just you run here and you run there and I didn't know how I didn't have any foot control or anything. But what I learned from that is like, and I had a greater appreciation because I coach my kids in youth soccer is that like soccer athletes. First of all, they you have to be a really great athlete to be running, you know, and you have to be in shape because uh, as a track coach, I used to love when I got kids. They may have never run track. But if they played soccer, usually they had two things. They could run all day. So as a, I, I purposely started coaching middle dis, distance and middle distance. But then in soccer, you got to not only be able to run, but you got to have a burst of speed. And so if you get have that at any point in, in playing soccer, you you know that that has helped shape some of your athleticism, whether you realize it or not. So 
great foundational sports. Swimming, and, and as a middle distance coach, I loved kids that were swimmers because, you know, that's a sport where you're using all of your body, you're, you're building up muscles in other areas, and it's a sport where you have to survive because if you stop swimming, you don't live. So it's a fair <laughs> You've you got to kind of do the swimming part. But look, so it is, we, we're going to go a little bit into as you, so growing up, Landon, at what point did you think, oh, wait a minute, I'm kind of good at this football thing. I might focus on this. Um, probably like around my third season. So when I first started out, I was never like the athletic kid, never like the super like fast burst of speed, making all the plays. It, it wasn't really me. Honestly, I wasn't really too into sports, to be honest. Um, probably not until my third season, because the one thing I did like, I, I always loved training with my dad. That was the one thing that like I was really committed to. So after every off season, you know, I just train, train, train. And then like, my third season, um, I got the opportunity to start running the ball a little bit, and I was running it, and I was making something happen out of it. So I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm pretty decent at this, and it just made me want to work more. So, yeah, that was probably like when I first realized, and then I just kept working from there, kept working with my dad, and I got to where I'm at now. So that's probably okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Now, Nathaniel, I'll go to you now. So at what point – now, you played flag football. I remember you even played with, with Landon on the team a couple of times, a couple of years. Um, then you played tackle football for me. I think you were maybe – oh, jeez. I was like 10. I was like 10. Yeah, so you were about 10 years old. That's right. Um, that was the first year of tackle. At what point did you say – not only – Am I gonna? I'm probably pretty good, but I actually love this sport. Because sometimes people assume because you're big, you're gonna play a sport, you're gonna do this. But I mean, you love it. Like you might play it because you're built for it or you're good at it. But is football something you love? And at what point did you realize that that was something you wanted to do? Yeah, I would say football is something I love. Um, I first started like I started taking it really seriously after after my freshman year probably that's when I stopped playing basketball because my body changed and I realized like I was going to be like the guy I would be at football so, instead of being basketball so that's when I started I really like took my training seriously and just took up to the next level okay yeah yeah like I, I not only coached you a couple of years but I also was one of your trainers uh, <laughs> in football especially during COVID we used to get together and, and go out uh, work out uh, you and you were working out with some of the high school kids. I was, I was, you know, training kids that were playing at Forest Park and Woodbridge and Colgan, and we had you right up in there. And uh, at that time, I think you were in the seventh grade. I don't even think you had gotten to the eighth grade yet. It was seventh going into eighth, and you were right there hanging with those guys. So, yeah, and then I know you, you've had a lot of success working out at, at C4 with, with Charlie and, and, and Austin, who I've had on the show. All right, cool. And then what about you, Brandon? Now, I know you're newer to football, but it, it and people said you should probably play, but did something ever click and you go, oh, wait a minute. I, like, I, I can't. At what point did some say, I, I can be good at this? And, and I think I might like it. Yeah, I think it was my um my sophomore year, my first year playing football. When we were in practice and we were hitting all that stuff, I just I just loved the sport. I just loved the hitting. I would always, I'd always just watch football like, on the side. I would never play because my parents wouldn't really allow me to do the injury that it caused and stuff. But I was in my first practice sophomore year when I first started playing. Just the practices, the, the hitting, it was it was very fun. I was I was enjoying okay. myself. So that's really when you I didn't started. Shy, you didn't shy away from the contact. No. Well, I say I seen you play basketball. I know you did. <laughs> but but, but yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I I growing up in Hampton in the in, in the 70s, 80s, and, and everything. Like, well, this is something we used to do. I don't know, but you tell me. Hampton, like, the, the tradition, my high school's won three football state championships. Phoebus has won nine or ten. Hampton High School's won 17 state championships. And so football is king, like, and that's what we did. Like, we played football every day, all the time. And we played in the parking lots. We played at, we played something y'all might not even have played, but 
kill the man. Let me ask you this. If you, did you look, bro, was like, what's kill the man? So, you no, know, did y'all ever growing up just go play tackle football in the neighborhood? Because when I was a kid, we used to do that all the time. And we could have just a patch of grass or a whole big field, but we would also get our crew and we would go play neighborhoods. But like, I know kids don't necessarily do that. And I'm saying it's not that it's a bad thing, but you guys ever go play just tackle football? Start with you, Land. Um, I think we definitely did. So my neighbor, he actually had like a really big backyard and the way it was built, it was like there was a slope on the hill. So we would play like on the flat surface. But every time like that ball would roll down the hill, that's when we knew it was time to wrap it up because it would land inside. It was like there was like a little forest at the bottom. And you had to like yeah, yeah, up. yeah. So I mean, we we would definitely, but we would definitely be out there tackling, uh, <laughs> playing around, you know, trying to recreate all the crazy stuff like the OBJ catches and all that. But um, yeah. So we definitely we definitely did do a lot of tackles and stuff like that. Okay, Brandon. So I know you didn't play organized football until high school, but did you ever go play football in the neighborhood? Yeah, when I was growing up, we'd always be playing like um, two hand touch, two hand touch football. It, it really just depends. Um, if we're in grass, we play a t- sometimes tackle football, but if we're in the concrete, it would be like two hand touch. Like okay. Right. What about you, Nathaniel? Um, I would say like in elementary school, like we had, we had like a very competitive like little kids there, so like we would like always play football. Um, Jeff and Lane went to my elementary school too, so like we would also play like tackle with them a little bit. Or uh, two in touch. Sometimes tackle and teacher aren't looking. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, and again, I'm not saying that what I did was good or what y'all do is not good or good or bad. Anything like I'm just saying my experiences and my experiences did cause a lot of injuries. Uh, we used to. I remember like even like y'all are fortunate. Like they they're calling some of these plays. I mean things that could really be dangerous and hurt people. But like we used to practice. Like, hey, let's headhunt somebody sustained a lot of injuries playing kill the man and tackle football um but but and and so i i'm I'm glad you all didn't get as much of that but what what you guys do have that we didn't um you know with seven on seven and more reps like for us the football season was just football season and then you play other sports basketball track or baseball we didn't have seven on seven so we weren't developing the skills in that way with like coaching and throwing and catching the ball so all right. I know you've played other sports and you're really good football players, but um, what would you say is your greatest experience as an athlete? So it may not be, you know, on the football field or it may not be necessarily this season. It could be at a point in your life. Like, you know, so I gotta start with you, Nathaniel, at what point. What has been one of your greatest experiences playing sports? It could be a AAU basketball championship. It could be high school football. It could be youth football or basket in swimming what would you say it was you know something that that's special to you um i would say probably like my first year of flag football cuz like i was really fast probably like one of the faster kids on the team so i was scoring all the touchdowns and stuff so that's like that stuck with me for a while so but now i gained the weight now i'm blocking for fast people so <laughs> okay yeah no i'm, I'm, I'm... I didn't see you with your youngest, youngest, but I, I definitely I saw you as you started to get bigger. But but I heard a lot of people say, "Oh man, that kid's athletic. Look at him run, look at him fast." Yeah. So, but you, Landon, what would you say? Um, one of your greatest athletic experiences. Athletic experiences, I'd say probably like my first AAU tournament. I remember coming in because all I played all my life was like rec basketball and stuff like that. So I wasn't too sure how I was gonna do. But I came in for the tournament, and I mean, I was I was hooping. I was doing pretty well. I was I was getting like, like 15, 20 each game, and uh, we ended up we get we got to the championship. We fell a little bit short, but I I remember being in that tournament, like you know, I, I can really do something, you know. Like I wasn't I wasn't too too nervous no more to really go out there and just be myself and go hoop. So that was that was pretty good for me. Oh, good. See, yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. What about Thanks. you, Brandon? Um, I would definitely say winning the district championship my sophomore year for basketball. Um, it was a very like historic experience for me, and uh, I remember I can't remember how many points I have. I know I had a lot of points, and it was a very enjoyable moment. I'll definitely remember it for a very long time. 
Okay. Yeah, I, and again, that was a special uh, year in Forest Park. Uh, could yeah. you all, I think, you know, Potomac had, had dominated the district uh, for years, and you all, you all really made a statement that year. So now I want to ask you all, uh, since we're still talking, we're talking a little bit more about sports, but um, who are some of the people in sports that you would say you you kind of would look up to or you appreciate their game or the way they carry themselves? So uh, we'll do it like this. If you to say, what was your Mount Rushmore and of all time, your all time favorite athletes? Um, I would definitely say my first one would be LeBron James, just the stuff he does on and off the court. It's very, Great. very inspiring. Absolutely. Yep. And my next one is Trent Williams, the, the left tackle for the 49ers. Yes, that is a yeah. good one. Yeah. I definitely I definitely watched my film off him, like, is learning different techniques he uses and stuff. And my third one would be, like, Michael Jordan. Just the stuff he was able to accomplish um, on the court was very nice. And my last one, I would say Nicole Jokic. Yeah, uh, that's a good Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He kind of has a similar play style to me. I feel like yeah. he's fun to watch. Yep, yep. That those are four really good ones. Okay, all yeah. right. What about you, Landon? Who will be your your four athletes? You know, it's kind of funny because I only have one football player, and like the rest are hoopers. But mm-hmm. um, my one would be LeBron James, obviously. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I watched him growing up. Uh, the two finals, epic, and it's just he's he's probably like my favorite athlete ever. So. LeBron, my second one would be Le'Veon Bell. You know, I'm okay. I grew up a Steelers fan, but besides me being a Steelers fan, he's probably like my biggest inspiration at running back. You know, I just I love watching the clips. How it's just like he's patient. yeah, he finds his, his way. Patience. Yeah, it's it's you can't you can't match it. So yeah, that's good. Le'Veon's definitely up there. Um, my third would be Kyrie. He just he just he's I I just love his game. He's he's smooth. He's he just. He knows what he's doing. And then my fourth would be Harden, James Harden. He's the reason why I became a Rockets fan. I'm a Rockets fan. I don't really like okay. publicly put that out, but uh, I'm a big fan of the Houston Rockets. And when he was when he had that little stint when he was averaging 40 a game, I was like, wow, like it he, he was crazy. But yeah, definitely James Harden. Okay. All right, cool. All right, Nathaniel. What what would you say are your four? My first probably LeBron James, like everybody else said, mm-hmm. um, he's just like a great guy to look up to, like family wise, person like in sports. Um, second, probably Tyron Smith, who plays for the Jets now, but he played for the Cowboys like back then. Mm-hmm. I used to like look up to him a lot, watch his film. Like he's he's been really good for a long time too, so that's also very good. I'm, I admire him for that. Um. I would say Mbappe, like from Real Madrid. I like I like his game a lot. I like watching oh, soccer yeah. a lot. Yeah, he's one of my oh, favorite yeah. uh, players. And then, then I would say uh, Usain Bolt. He's just always like electrifying. Watching him race for those years. Those are some really good ones too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I I mentioned mine I said before, but for me, it's it's um. Walter Payton, like I, I even have a Walter Payton jersey here. I've got all type of stuff, man. Just that—that that was my dude. Um, I, and when I ran, I wanted to. I, I tried to run like him when I played running back, and I was just and he just carried himself so well. Um, Magic Johnson, you know, won five championships and and would have been if he had not had to stop playing early because of of his health. Uh, I think we would. Say him. More people would say him over Matt Michael Jordan because he had five, but his career ended early. And I think if he had kept playing, Jordan gets less. Um, and then Jackie Robinson breaking the color barrier, but just the stuff he had to go through. But then people don't realize like he was a he's intelligent. He went to UCLA. He was an officer in the military, but he also played football and basketball and ran track at UCLA. In addition to being a great baseball player and impacting that game um, so much. And then um, also, I would say a big fan of like Carl Lewis. Now, I'm saying Bo is, is great, but like when I was a kid, Carl Lewis was a beast in track. And then I, I, I ran track and, and you you know, I coached. So it's just my group, but that's cool. that's cool. I just wanted to hear what you all were thinking. And I'll tell you, I got a mad respect 
one person who would be up here it would, for me also could be LeBron James because LeBron, like outside of whether he's winning championships, like I, I I would say he's actually the goat, and that's a whole other debate whether it's him or Michael Jordan. But he not only impacted the game as a player, but also the way he, had, you know, in terms of free agency and going, people hate him for going to Miami, but he controlled the narrative. You know, he went, and anybody can go back, go through Cleveland and win a championship, you know he's a beast. And then he went to my favorite team, the Lakers. So, anyway, uh, so all, all those are, are, are great. Um, now, I want to go a little bit outside of of sports. And so, what we'll, we'll, what you all like to do in your spirit. Yeah. And what about you, Nathaniel? Do you have any favorite movie or TV shows? I would say for a TV show, it's probably kiddish, but like, Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. I used to love that oh, show. Yeah. Like back in the day. And then for a movie, I would say Waterboy. Like I used to watch Waterboy and my mom like thousands of times, like every day. And I was like, Yeah. And or something. Now, is Waterboy the one with Bobby Boucher? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that movie. So my favorite movie of all time is Hoop Dreams. And it is an amazing documentary. Um, it came out about 30 years ago, yeah, in 1994. But it, it followed these two young men who were big-time prospects in eighth grade. And they were going to go, like, to private school. So it was like, hey, it's, if, you, if you're if you here, if they identified all of you all as good eighth graders, and, like, if, Brandon, you said, I'm going to go to Forest Park. But, Nathaniel, you said, oh, you both say you're going to go to Damasa. Only one of you stays at the master for your whole career. The other one comes back home and plays for Forest Park, but it follows them through that and then going to college. If you and, and it was just real, like it showed their families and they lived in a really rough part of Chicago. So I would highly recommend if you get a chance to just watch games. You'll love it. All right. So yeah, that's my favorite movie of all time, but I also like a lot of football movies and stuff. Okay. And then um well, 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 I'll I'll get you guys out of here on on these last couple of questions. So, if would you first one is what what is your go to app on your phone? Like, you pick your phone up. What's the first thing you go into? What about you, Nathaniel? What what's the first app you look at? I would say probably TikTok. I watch a lot of TikTok. Okay. All right. What about you, Landon? Uh, for me, it's gotta be YouTube. I watch like everything on YouTube. Like YouTube, <laughs> I probably got so much screen time on YouTube. So yeah. Okay. Cool. And you can find the Fourth Park High School Football Show and the Kirk and Bird Show on YouTube. <laughs> Excellent. All right. What about you, Brandon? Um. Yeah, I'll definitely say TikTok too. I watch a lot of TikTok. Okay. All right. Cool. You know, for me, the old folks, I you know, I go to Facebook, and I do have my wife sends me and my cousin forward me a whole lot of Instagram videos and stuff that's funny. So, okay. All right, cool. And then this is the last one uh, I have for you guys. What, if you could have any superpower or you could be any superhero, what would it be? Who would, who would you be? Like for me, like, I don't, I mean, flying and all that stuff, but for me, I have any superpower, it would be I just want to be the smartest person, like a thousand times smarter than the smartest person. So, meaning I could pick up some books and I'm gonna, I know I could pass the bar, or I could do medicine, or I could just outthink you, or whatever, you know. So, that's me. Like, then sound like a great superpower, but I would figure out a way to beat the seat, whatever yours are. What about you, uh, Brandon? What would you say if you could be any superhero or have any power? Now, that being said, if I was going to be a superhero, I have learned, I grew up liking the Super Friends, and I like Superman, but now, after watching all of them, like, I like Thor, so Thor would be my dude, but, but, Super Power would be my brain. What about you, Brandon? Um, I, I would definitely say invisib invisibility. Just being oh, able, to, like, okay. being able to walk into a room and, like, nobody sees you, nobody, like, can really see you, and I'll say my superhero, I would say Hulk, just be able to smash oh, things and like, take things one. out. Yeah. I would just keep pushing. I just want to make you mad. Just make you see. I'm gonna I push. Yeah, what you gonna do now? What you gonna do now, Brandon? Come on, get big, get turn green. All right. <laughs> what about you, uh, uh, Landon? Um, 
what what would you want? Would you have a, a favorite superhero, or if you had any superpower, what would it be? I think superpower probably to be able to teleport. I just feel like it'd be it'd be really useful for a lot of things, just being able to get from one point to another. And then, okay. if I had to be a superhero, probably like Spider Man. He's he's my favorite superhero. Yeah, cool. yeah I like I like Spider Man. So, yeah, yeah. Spider Man just every movie he's been super cool, super dope. So probably yeah. Spider Man, definitely. Definitely. All right. What about you, Nathaniel? Um, if I had a superpower, it would be like being a superhuman, like just being super smart, super strong, super fast. That would make okay. like life ten times easier. So Yeah. And, and maybe then, every now and then you could save somebody if they were in trouble, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, of course. If you had some and free then, time. Or if some bad guys came from outer space, you could maybe if you you know you felt like you could go take care of it, right? Yeah, I found, I found, I'm busy that day. I'm busy that day. <laughs> but then I would say my favorite superhero is probably, probably Batman. I like Batman a lot. Okay. All right. And Batman, I like him too. But much like Iron Man, his superpower is being rich. And that's, yeah. that's a good issue. That's a good problem because uh, he's got the suit and all that stuff. Well, those are good ones. But now he's my la last one off of power. You told me what superpowers you would like to have and what you would do with them. But what is your current superpower that you have that nobody knows about? And I'll give you an example. For me, my hidden, it's like saying, what is your hidden talent? My hidden talent or superpower is being great with directions or knowing how to get somewhere. So, for the last 25, 30 years, my brother, my wife, people, they call me Roadmap. They're like, this is before GPSs came out. They'd be like, well, what's the best way to get there? Well, how do you, like, I remember, like, best ways to go somewhere, or I just, like, my wife gets lost just going to work because she's been going there for years. Like, my superpower is directions and understanding how all this stuff kind of fits together. And then one of the reasons I, I'm probably like that is because every time I go somewhere, so, well, what if I go this way? And now a lot of it is because I'm used to sitting in traffic. Or what if I go this way? But it's my kind of hidden superpower. Uh, Landon, what would you say is your kind of hidden superpower that that um, people don't know about? I like to think uh, what it is. Keep your room clean. I, I, no. I keep my room clean. No, no, you, I, I keep my room clean. I'm a clean guy. I'm a clean okay, guy. okay. okay. Hey, your superpower, bro. Go ahead. Something messing with you. For me. I'm pretty good. I think I have a pretty good music taste. I'd like to say, like, I'm really good at, like, opening people's palette to new music. Oh, okay, I think, okay. I think once I, like, kind of get a feel for, like, what they like, I can kind of, like, suggest them something that kind of, like, opens up their ears into a, a better realm. So I think I'm pretty good with that. I like that. I like that. What about you, Brandon? Um, What's I would your definitely... superpower? Um... I'm definitely I'm, I'm a really good listener. I'm, I'm a really good problem solver too. Like I can like listen and like try problem solve off of like what I'm hearing. Oh, that's a good yeah. one. Real good. Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you what, when you get married one day, let's see if your wife says if you thinks that because she will trip you up so many ways and be like, Did you hear what I said? Yeah. It's amazing how we as husbands get my, my wife out and she's extremely smart and and I'm like, I don't know, what did she just say? I guess I think I'm a good listener until I haven't really listened to her. But that's a good skill. Keep it, bro. Keep it. All right. And keep it hidden. Because if people know that that's your superpower, they don't expect you to have her. So sometimes you just want to be like, huh? What? I don't know. I didn't hear you. I didn't yeah. remember. What are you talking about? I can't figure that out. All right. So don't tell everybody that. All right. All right. Nathaniel, what would be your superpower? Um, I would say I make pretty good what guesses. What is your. What is your your hidden superpower? Yeah, so I'll make pretty good guesses. Like, like uh, when like when I'm with like my friends, my little friend group, like we play a game called Mafia. I say like I get the people out a lot, so I make good guesses to get them out. Okay, good guess. Okay, good. So did that skill come in handy when you're uh, taking a, a multiple choice test? Yeah, and you and you, and you ain't study. It's like, <laughs> like I'm a guess on what's the best guess. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Well, look, man, now this has been a lot of fun, guys. I appreciate you joining us. Uh, again, you all are not just 
great athletes, but you're getting it done in the classroom and you're good kids. Man, I've been around you all outside of sports, hung around you, and you're very respectful. You know, you're looking, you know, adults in the eyes. You got great firm handshakes and and it's yes sir no sir and all that stuff so um that goes a long way that's one of the things you know if you've ever played for me uh, i i was coaching you know not whether it's high school middle school or even football but i could coach eight-year-old girls in youth soccer and i'm teaching them the importance of hey look somebody in the eye you know yes you know it's it's, it's coach rusty but it's also if i ask a question yes sir no sir or raise your hand if you have a question ask those questions and you all do that. And so that's a great reflection on not just you, but the way you, you know, have listened to and, and learned from your family. So again, I want to thank you all. I am looking forward to the rest of the season, but in also just following you all in life, you know, you know, not just sports, um, because that's that's gonna end at some point, you know. And then what people are gonna judge you on is, you know, how did how did Brandon treat me as a person? You know, how did Landon talk to me? you know, outside of being on the field or being in front of the press, like, you know, and Nathaniel, like, you know, I, I was a, a nobody in our class, but he spoke to me, you know, uh, or I assisted somebody, an uh, older person or a teacher or anything, you know, those are the things that that really matter in life. And I, and I know you all uh, know that and you're doing it, but again, I want to thank you for joining the show. Uh, I want you all to make sure you spread the word. You know, you guys have followers on Twitter and your other social media accounts, but let people know, like, let's see if this can be one of the higher rated shows. I will tell you when I have had freedom football players on and I had one with TJ Bush and some other guys, like two or three players, they're getting like six and 700 views. So I, this tells me if you guys roll up in here with a hundred or 200 views, ballers, I thought y'all were. So let's see if y'all can, if y'all got fans or you've got friends or you've got family that you can send this to and then they can send it to somebody. And like this can just be a part of something you share with your family for years to come. All right. So one day, you know, Landon, when you have kids and your families and they'll be, you'll be like, no, I was a good football player. Yeah, right, dad. Okay, sure. Boom. You can just show them this. And they'll be like, oh, snap. You know, Rusty Bird. <laughs> all right. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Cool. All right. So look, we'll close. I'll give you all each a chance to close out with anything you want to say, anybody you want to thank or shout out to whatever you want to do. Uh you know, I'll, I'll give you all that chance. We'll start with you, Nathaniel. Any closing remark? Go hokies. Oh, I love it. I so the season is really starting to turn for a positive way. So I, that's all I'll say. Very yeah, go hokies. So it's a brother, my brother went to Virginia Tech. Met his wife there. He got his. He played football four years. Team captain. Led the team in Big East and tackles. And he, you know, he got his bachelor's, master's, and PhD from Virginia Tech. And so he is Hokey down. And I, I love that program. And, and go Hokey. That's good. What about you, Brandon? Any closing remarks? Um, thank you, Rusty, for having me on the show. Um, thanks to my parents, my coaches, and go Flames. All right. All right. So TJ Bush is a flame. And then, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. And what about you, Landon? You had your folks on? Had you after in, after a game? Any any closing remarks? Uh, I'm saying shout out my brother. Uh, he's yeah. a, freshman, a freshman this year at Forest Park, too. Uh, okay. My brother, Rylan. Rylan Hunt. Okay. Hate to yep. admit it, but he's, he's my best man. So shout out him. Shout out my parents. Yeah. Shout out my friends. And shout out all my coaches that coached me up. Through after year, kept me going through the football, man. And thank you for having me on, Mr. Bird. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. Man, thank you. Thank you all for being on the show. Um, and I look forward to the rest of this season. But you know, not just, you know, football, but basketball, crack, whatever. And then I'm gonna follow you guys. So wherever you're going to school, whether you're playing or you're not playing, you know, hey, Coach Rusty will be right there supporting you all. All right. Thank you got you. mad love for thank you. you. Yep. Yep. So for Nathaniel Wright, Brandon Adozi, and Landon Hunt, this has been the fourth part high school football show with your host, Rusty Bird of the Kirk and Bird Show. Go, Go Birds! Birds.